Hi guys, it's Ricky and this is Ricky Reveals. <clears throat> We're starting to feel a little bit better. <sighs> well, physically, um, mentally, emotionally, just another day in Karmicville with fake ass motherfucking people. I literally have a gift. You know it's legit. You spent enough time with me, and I told you enough things where you know I'm fucking, I'm legit. Why would you still continue to like me? I just don't understand. Whatever. I'm protected, and um, I'm just gonna go along with it, smile and nod, and you can walk right on into that trap. Capricorn. So you could be a Capricorn or you could be dealing with one. <clears throat> Jamie. <clears throat> Jody. <clears throat> Ashley. Chicago, Buena Vista, California, fifteen hundred. Cancer. So, <clears throat> could be a cancer. We're dealing with cancer. You have someone thinking your life, <clears throat> and it's going to be a hard pill to swallow because you really, really, really care about this person. But if you don't get away from them, they're really going to hurt you because you're not going to see it coming. Or you actually might see it coming, but you just don't want to believe it. So you're going to stand right there in the line of fire until they... Virgo. <clears throat> Libra. <clears throat> Scorpio, and Leo. Someone's too close and they're definitely lying to you. San Francisco, the fool in the reverse. I think you're wising up to it though. And I think you are starting to see that no matter how much you love them, they're just not right. <clears throat> A 
April 3rd or April 5th could be very significant, or April 2nd. Okay, so the fool's not in reverse. My bad. My deck was the devil. The world. All right. Literally, Capricorn is here all over. So you, you, you're going to say you're Capricorn. But if you're not a Capricorn, you have it highly aspected or your partner is Capricorn. Page of Cups, Cancer Energy. Why is the devil here? Whoever I'm talking to, I know it's been a long, hard road. You spent a lot of your life alone. But I really think that you need to spend a, just a little bit more time alone. Because you've got two people who you're going to have to choose between. And to be all the way honest, I don't think either one of them are all that great for you. This is going to hurt Capricorn. Or... This is, this is going to really hurt. What? But, um... If you don't... Choose with your head on this one... Your heart's going to... I think your heart's going to destroy you. Like, so... Be really careful. They already know you're here. That, that was clearly heard. Damn it. I guess they don't know it's you, but they know somebody's here. Okay. This is not going to feel like a victory, but I promise you, one day you'll look back and be glad that you made the choice. Maybe, like, some people just are not meant to, for love. This person really does love you, um, and you guys really do have a strong connection, but they're not ready for what you want. 
and um, not intentionally or not maliciously, they're going to wind up holding you back. They're going to cost you some opportunities because they're not on the same page as you. And the sad thing is, like, that's the, the double edge of the sword because the first edge is the choice, like, because they're both going to look the part. Could be a cancer. Capricorn cancer, very strong in this reading. Both of these people really do care about you. It's just one is just not capable of monogamy. And the other one cares more about money than they do anything. And either way, it's going to hurt. It's going, if you, I think if you choose to have a serious relationship with either one of these people, it's really going to break you down in ways that you spent a lot of time healing and building yourself back up on. There is someone here though, that maybe they're not here yet, but there's someone coming that really will love you the way you deserve to be loved. Emperor. The fool came out earlier. It's two Aries, major arcana. So they could be an Aries or they could have Aries highly aspected in the chart. But this person, they're on their shit. They're not going to take no shit, but they, they're they honest and they, what they tell you, they feel, like they're going to tell you exactly how they feel about you and they're being truthful about it. And I think you're going to know you're going to know, your intuition is going to tell you the one that really loves you and actually loves you as much as themselves, not themselves more than you. You know I mean? They're going to put you first over them a lot of the times and they're, but they're never going to make a choice that puts you in harm's way. And trust me, the drama and the harm is coming because whoever this is, there's at least one, and I'm sure it's more than one, that does not want you to be with this person. And it's simply because either A, they want to be with the person, or B, they just hate you so bad that they don't want you to be with anyone that's worth a fuck. But you will get your justice. Your justice will be served. You will finally get the love that you've you've earned and deserved. A pair of font could be a Taurus, or it could just be the one that you're going to marry. There's going to be some kind of death and rebirth to either yourself or to this person so that you guys will be in a perfect alignment vibrational match. Wow. Queen of Swords came out earlier. Now the King of Swords is here. Definitely divine counterparts. You guys will have an equal take relationship. I think it's going to be kind of rocky at first because you guys have both been so hurt in the past. You've been ghosted. You've been cheated on. You've been lied on. You lied to um, and just were used in many, many ways that neither one of you really trust each other, trust anyone. But there's going to be something about this person, maybe the twinkle in their eye, maybe just the way they, the touch of their hand. There's going to be something about them that's going to let you know that they are, they're the one. Maybe it's something they'll say, maybe it's something they'll do, but you will know beyond a shadow of a doubt that they are your Ten of Cups. They are your emotional fulfillment. And they are also your money. Um, together, you guys will build generational wealth. You guys will make an empire, build an empire that your children's children will be living off of. Temperance. There are some things that are going on behind your back or behind the scenes that are being balanced out because people really just are ain't shit and um, they thought they can get away with some shit and the angels are weeding them out and balancing everything so that you get what you deserve because you are an earth angel and you have things to do here on this earth that will be done regardless of who or what tries to stop you stop trying to defend yourself you don't have to 
your character speaks for itself. You're not perfect. No one is. But you have integrity. You have compassion. You have love. And you have... You have desire, um, determination, and the will to do what it takes in order to put good into this world on such a level that it's going to literally change the world, if, or at least a, a, a country. You are going to be make a major impact before you pass away. You are going to be celebrated. And I don't think you're someone who's ever been celebrated before. So you're probably thinking, oh, whatever, that's never going to happen. That's just, I'm not the one that gets that. You are now. There could be someone who's a little immature, childish, who um, either A, owes you money and wants to come and give you some of it, but not all of it, because <laughs> they don't want to have to give, away that much, give up that much money. Um, or they could be around because they know you're about to get money and they want to benefit from it. You could have been in a sexual relationship with this person at some point, or... Maybe they really are your soulmate, your twin flame, and they just need a little bit more growing up. Like they need a, a kick in the pants by spirit. But something has either already occurred or is about to occur that's going to completely sever so something in your life. It may not be that relationship, but there is some connection or some job or something. Something is about to be completely removed from your life. And even though it may not feel like it when it happens, it is a wish. It is a answer prayer. So it could even be family that are causing you trauma because they are jealous and talking shit. And it will finally give you the fiery passion in the beginning you have longed for your entire life. It is your wish fulfillment, even if it doesn't feel like it because you don't get to share it with the people you want to. Damn it. Okay, I was going to do my little inspirational card, but I can't find it. So I guess I will throw a couple of these on top. Johannesburg. Maybe somebody's from Johannesburg. Biracial couple. Maybe you are in a biracial connection, or you will be, or you've been in one that um, is coming back around. Strength and to the swords again. Oh, shit. Let it go. Any anxiety, any worry, any fear, let it go. Because God's not going to let a hair on your head be touched. And this, you're going to be able to just walk through. Even though it probably feels like a storm or a mess, chaos, God's going to let you walk through it. You've been through enough. Just don't look left. Don't look right. Look straight ahead. Hangman in reverse. You are no longer stuck. You've seen through the illusions. You've seen the choices. And you don't want any of them. The lovers again. You are going to make the right choice. Because that's the lovers in two different decks. Don't be worried about it. Pick from your heart. Your heart will not see you wrong. But also pay attention to the, everyone's energy. Because every single human being that has a voice can lie with their words. That energy does not lie. Take some time to yourself. Meditate. And maybe you already have, and maybe that's how you've gotten um, clarity to hold on to your money. Like, and I'm not saying be a greedy little bitch. You know, if someone needs something and you can provide, go ahead. But do not let anyone use you at this time. <laughs> Two of Cups. Either, hey, you are with your soulmate. Your soulmate is physically in your life. You guys may not be actually in a, a relationship, 
that they are physically in your everyday life or they are coming like as we speak because that's the two of cups came in both decks and so did the lovers but it could be a nice cheeky stealing little bastard too no i don't think it's them i think it's someone who sees it happening and they they want to fuck it up for you because for whatever reason they don't want you to be happy and it could be because they want to be with the, your person or they could actually want to be with you so they're trying to stop it that your union from coming together And don't pour into cups that don't pour back into you. And pay attention to everything going on around you because the one thing that doesn't seem significant probably is the most significant thing that you need to be focusing on. I love you guys. If you love me as much as I love you, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.